How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, you're watching Danimal Tech. So WatchOS 4 was just released last week and with that, the new heart rate app. Uh, it was talked about on the keynote of the, the release of the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, and a lot of people asked me, so how is the new heart rate app? What it does, what's new, what's the new implementations, and the health features like uh, detecting arrhythmias and things like that. So I decided to make this video to explain everything to you. And in order to show you absolutely everything, like fitness tracking, workouts, and everything, I actually have to work out. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll be back in a bit. And I'm back after almost being mugged, but yeah, that happens. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. We just need to open the new heart rate app. And if it's the first time you open the heart rate app with watchOS 4, you can already see the first difference. And that is uh, a screen that will actually ask you if you want your Apple Watch to notify you if uh, your heart rate reaches above or like reaches or goes above 120 beats per minute BPM while you are at rest. So your Apple Watch now can detect if uh, your heart rate is reaching that number, which is quite high while you are resting, and it asks you if uh, you want to be notified if that happens. So on my case, I have already allowed that, so that's why you can't see. Okay, so that's the first difference right there. The second difference is already the layout. You can see that you have different cards now, and I'm gonna go through them one by one. So the first one is obviously current, so you can just open it up and it will show you your current beats per minute, which in my case is 86, and uh, a minute ago it was 80, and up here we have this graph showing my heart rate throughout the day. As you guys can see, let me zoom in a little bit, and then you can see that I have throughout the day, uh, around noon, that's when I worked out, so then I had that peak. Okay, so let's go back, Right here we have uh, rest resting rate. So that's my average resting rate uh, throughout the day was 58 beats per minute. So the Apple Watch can tell when you are resting and it will tell you your average uh, beat per minute, your heart rate while at rest. And again, it shows you your summary of your day. Continue. And then we're going to see your average walking uh, heart rate so as you guys can see 84 so while I was walking 84 was my average average beat per minute uh, that I was uh, that my Apple watch was sensing continuing and that's the good part so uh, these are the workouts are performed throughout the day so that's as I said by noon so that's strength training so my strength training today was like that that's the graph that it shows how my heart rate uh, was throughout the throughout my workout session. So I had an average of 81 and a high of 109 Okay, and as you guys can see you can see the numbers right there uh, Like the time of the beginning the time of the end the highest and the lowest. So it's pretty cool Okay, and I had another workout session a very brief uh, workout run an indoor run and then my average was 153 with the highest of 165 Okay uh, again, we have the graph right there. And then if we continue, we have the last session, which for me is one of the most interesting, and we have the recovering uh, time, the recovering rate. And that's how it works. It's gonna tell you that my heart rate uh, went down by eight BPM after one hour and 18 BPM after two minutes, sorry, one minute and two minutes. And then you can see the graph of it going down. And what, what it actually means, and let me tell you what it means. It pretty much means that the faster your heart rate descends, the more fit you are, meaning that you, you are recovering faster and faster from a high intensity uh, workout session. So that means that you are more fit and that your physical conditioning is better. So it's good to keep track of that and see how fast you are recovering through time. Okay, so that will mean that uh, your efforts are actually paying off. And last but not least, I wanna tell you a little bit about uh, what Apple mentioned on their keynote regarding health, regarding detecting diseases. So they mentioned AFib or atrial fibrillation and they mentioned arrhythmia. So some people, some of some of the people in my previous video asked me if the Apple Watch running WatchOS 4 can already detect those diseases and unfortunately they can't, okay? Apple is still working with Stanford Medicine and they're still working with professionals to try and implement detection of those diseases within your Apple Watch using our sensor, but 
not right now. So we're not sure if they will be available through a software update or they will actually have to create a new Apple Watch with a new sensor to actually detect those diseases. So that's pretty much it regarding those diseases. Okay, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Please make sure to hit the like button and also look for the subscribe button and then click the little bell icon right next to it. So then you will be notified whenever I post a new video it's right on your Apple Watch or on your iPhone or on your computer, whatever. So I really appreciate it and I see you guys next week. Bye bye.